Subscriber alert, subscriber alert. Your friendly neighborhood YouTubers rated A for awesome. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and you're welcome. Enjoy. up everyone welcome back to the greatest show on planet earth it's your friendly neighborhood youtuber guys and here we are with another epic action figure review that's right we are going to be taking a look at the veteran guardsman right there <laughs> looking pretty awesome guys uh i have been pretty excited with all of these I've, well, I've been pretty satisfied should i say and excited with all the action figure uh, Warhammer figures I've been reviewing so far. So far, we've taken a look at the uh, Trader Guard. We took a look at Ogren right here. We're going to do some comparisons, of course, and then we're going to break out some other figures, do some more comparisons. Uh, but first and foremost, one thing I definitely want to do um, is I think I might, I might end up giving... Being that this silver, if you guys saw my last review, this silver is a little bit too prevalent with this figure. I thought maybe I would give him this gun or maybe this saw right here. Um, I think this silver gun right here would probably go best with this guy right here. You know what I mean? I feel like he, he like needs a pistol. He would look better with a pistol and maybe with a chainsaw than this guy right here. And I think this gun would look better with this guy. Anyways, <clears throat> Let's go ahead and take them out of the package. If you guys are here, join with me today. I just want to say thank you. And if you are wondering, it is from the new uh, video game, Dark Tide. And if you're watching this 10 years from now, <laughs> that means the game is not new. <laughs> That's one thing about YouTube is once you put this stuff out here, it's forever. Like, you can go back and look at some of my older reviews from four years ago. Please don't, because they're horrible. Um, oh, you know what? Let's jump forward. Let's uh, to where he's already out of the package, because he's got some twisty ties. It's going to take me a minute to get him out of package. Okay, so, yeah, going back to what I was saying before. Um, yeah, I, yeah, some of my old stuff is pretty cringeworthy. <laughs> I'm sure some of my new stuff is pretty cringeworthy. But uh, yeah, I'm loving, I'm loving these figures, man. Uh, it all started with this guy right here. When I first got this guy, I'm like, man, I got to get some more Warhammer figures. And I end up picking up uh, Chaos Space Marine, which I think I might pick up. Uh, I don't know, man. It's It looks like it's going down that way. I might pick up the rest of the Warhammer lineup uh, figures. I do have a, a couple more Warhammer figures, but I think I just might pick them all up. And then I picked up this guy, and I was so satisfied with this guy. I said, you know what? Let's get this guy. And here is the veteran guardsman, and he looks awesome, guys. Awesome. I think, listen, if you guys collect, like, G.I. Joes, um, this is kind of what he reminds me of. You know what I mean? Great looking sculpt. I could definitely say, let me see. It looks like, for the first time in history that McFarlane reused some body parts. It looks like the legs and maybe the crotch could be the crotch because as you can, as you can see, the knee pads are about the same. The hands look the same. Um, I'm sure the sculpt underneath is the same, but that is unusual for McFarlane. Maybe not unusual, maybe I've missed it, but yeah, you can see the pants and everything is about the same see it has the pockets right there on the side as well i'm not mad i'm not mad for 20 bucks a piece i mean listen great it's a great looking figure man i don't know what's going on here it looks like his mask maybe his mask i was gonna say it's it's his face but there's green in there and there's the back right there boots 
Really nice. Let's check out the articulation. We'll put the weapon in, in his hands, and then we'll do some weapon swappage. So there is the bend right there at the elbow. I like that a lot. I like how he can... I like that to where he can put his arms like that and put his hands on his, like, straps. That's really, really cool. Uh, legs can kick out a little bit further. It's not hindered like it is with this guy because he doesn't have the long, you know, wardrobe right there. But, yeah, he can kick out that much. Knee bend. Really nice. Double, it would be double. It is double jointed knees. It's just kind of hindered by his design. A lot of toy companies do that. They don't, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to say they don't pay attention to that, but I'm sure they do. It's just when you make the sculpt, and then it just, the sculpt of the figure hinders the design. So let's put in the gun real quick. I do like this gun a lot. Oh, let me show you how the gun looks. Looks like a pistol. Kind of looks like a James Bond <laughs> a gun. Um, something that our James Bond uh, villain would have. And I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. I think this gun will look way better in his hand, though. Here's this big old chainsaw, which we've gotten previously with another figure. I can't remember what. But I think that chainsaw will probably go better with him. Or maybe with Ogren. Let's just see how it looks for the time being. I don't know why they gave us. See, they gave us like two trigger finger hands. I don't know why that is. But he has a holding hand for the sword, so... But anyways, if you guys care to see how he looks holding this <clears throat> blade there he goes like that yeah i don't like it i don't like it let me switch out the weapons guys uh, oh before we do that let's do a side by side comparison so let's switch out the weapons real quick because i feel like this gun would work way better with this guy because he's just more mi mi uh, mi military listic if there is such a word, and yeah, look at that. This gun definitely goes way better with this guy. In my opinion. Right? It looks like that's the kind of gun that he would have. Yeah, that looks way better. It just it just revamps this figure. And that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to get this figure. I'm like, man, that guy looks good. I bet he would look really good if he had like a bigger weapon. And yeah, I'm right. Look at that, bro. Looks way better, doesn't he? Holding this gun. Let me see. Stay right there, a veteran guardsman. Because he's a veteran guardsman, right? He needs to have a big, powerful weapon. This guy is a zombie, so he doesn't really need a big weapon. And that silver, like I said, it doesn't go well with this character right here. But this gun, yeah, this gun makes more sense right here, bro. For this. Doesn't it look better? It looks better. Like, when you put the... Because this has silver on it, but it doesn't have that much silver. But when he's holding it, you don't really see the silver. You know what I mean? And it just goes so well with this character. Let's see how the this goes. Yeah, he has a big... I can probably heat this up and close this hand a little bit more. But he has, like, a huge holding open hand. But if you're wondering how he would look holding this... Yeah, I I definitely do. It's big, though. How about Ogren? Let me see. Because Ogren, he has the big hands. And, yeah, I think Ogren probably would look better holding this. Yeah, in my opinion, yeah. Yeah, but his hands might be a little bit too big. Let's see. Let's get that in there. <laughs> Hold on one moment. Squeeze that in there, like so. Um... No, it's a little bit too small for him. Yeah. Okay, we'll save that weapon for another time. But, yeah, he doesn't really hold it because see the gapage in his hand. He can't really hold it that well. Can he hold this one? Let's see. Oh, yeah, we just checked that out. Then. Yeah, but he doesn't look right holding that. All right, we'll save this weapon for another time because this weapon doesn't really go well with any of these figures. So maybe we'll find another Warhammer figure. But, yeah, definitely switching out the weapons definitely helps a lot. I like that a lot, bro. Really dope. All right, let's do um, let's do another. Let's do a couple more comparisons, measurements, and I'll give you my rating and let you know what I make of them. 
Okay, so wanted to bring in another Warhammer figure. So here is the Chaos Space Marine with the veteran guardsmen right there. And yeah, they go together very, very well, man. I love this figure. Man, these figures are like a revelation, bro. They are they really surprise me. One thing about these guys is they're not that tall. And compared to 7-inch McFarlane figures, so if this is uh, Owl Man right here. That's how they stand. So you can see they are smaller than the DC figures. Because this was Owl Man right here next to Chaos Space Marine. So, and they're just differently shaped, differently designed. So they can go into like a G.I. Joe format. And one of you guys mentioned in the comments. You, you brought up this really, really great comparison um, of these are making up for the Doom like figures, which I never even thought about. Like McFarlane Doom, like bad guys, uh, spe specifically this one. And the more I thought about it, I'm like, yeah, that makes a lot of freaking sense. I'm like, no wonder I love these figures so much is because I love Doom. I love creepy, cool stuff. I love cool stuff overall. And these guys are really, really dope. So the Veteran Guardsman stands at about uh, just a little over six and a half inches, six and three fourth tall. That's between six and a half inches and seven inches. So, yeah, I mean, they can fit into you, you like your like Hasbro G.I. Joe format. Um, they might be a little bit taller, might be a little bit bigger, but I actually like the size of them i think these guys are like the perfect size man and this guy is just so well done like the boots pretty much same body half half the body as uh as the trader guard but overall just so nicely well designed and i have to say the gun goes way better with this guy with this guy because as you can see he's rocking the silver warhammer logo and and the silver just goes so much better with this guy and this gun and I just think he's great. Now, let me give you my rating, guys. So, with the gun and with this weapon right here, which I don't really particularly care too much for. I mean, let me see. I can put it into his hand. Let me see how it looks in his hand. So, I didn't really put it into his hand because his hand is stiff as hell. So, let me see. I mean, yeah, it can go... It just doesn't look right, you know what I mean? Like, he's got too much shit going on. I might have to save that for another one. So, the weapons for this guy weren't great. Um, so, if I were to if I were to rate him with the weapons that he it came with, I would probably give this guy maybe like a 6.8. 6.8. With this gun from the Trader Guard right here, guys, I think this takes this guy up to a whole nother notch. Like, it just, it has so much more, brings so much more to this figure and to this character. I'm going to have to give this guy, I think I like this guy a little bit better than him, even though this face sculpt is awesome. I, I, I like this guy a little bit better, so I'm going to give this guy like a 7.2. You know, having the right weapon definitely, you know, definitely sh highlights the character and highlights the figure's attributes as well, you know what I mean? And just having the right weapon for the figure definitely adds a lot to this veteran guardsman, man. He's very simplistic, not much color, but the sculpt is what makes this figure. It's just so nicely done, man. It's a really, really great masterpiece. Listen, guys, as uh, a fan, I've said this many times, um, who's a, a person, a collector, who's not really... Uh, a, a fan of Warhammer or never played the video game I can definitely say these guys these figures are definitely worth it they are definitely a revelation man definitely some of my new uh, lineup figures you know that I've I don't know it's just something about them they're just so nicely done I, I just can't and, and just like I said I've said this many times this is coming from a person who's not you know, a Warhammer fan, you know what I mean? And not because I'm not a fan, it's just because I haven't played the video game. I think I've explained myself. <laughs> but just overall, great, man. I can stare at this figure all day long. Just a great, great looking figure, man. Jeez. 
you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I like this guy so much. I'm gonna put him at a 7.5, and that's with this gun. Great, great looking piece, guys. All right, I definitely recommend it, man. If you guys have been watching my reviews and checking out some of these Warhammer figures, they are definitely worth the price. 20 bucks, you can't beat it. Original scopes, original characters. Overall, great, great stuff, man. Uh, I hope you guys have been enjoying these reviews like I've been enjoying collecting these reviews and opening these figures. Really, really awesome, man. If you stay tuned to all the way to the end, I just want to say thank you. Definitely recommend it from one fellow collector to another. That's my job, reviewing these figures and recommending to you guys if you like cool, creepy stuff. Just cool stuff overall, man. Cool action figures. These guys are right up there, man. I give it two thumbs up. <laughs> Cisco and Ebert, two thumbs up. Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, two thumbs up. All right. I think I've spent enough time drooling over these figures. If you stayed, if you, like I said, watched this all the way to the end, I just want to say thank you. Let me know your uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section about the this guy and Warhammer figures overall. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you in the next review. Peace out.